This is Mike Bot. Going to do a video on embossing uh, 3D printed SDLs. So basically, uh, the Bamboo uh, Studio has this function built in, but it's completely useless. It's very buggy, slow, doesn't work well. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to do it using Windows uh, PCs or laptops. You're going to need Microsoft 3D Builder, which is free and built in to uh, all your Windows systems and very easy to use. It's as simple as typing Google into a search bar. I'm going to start by opening the design that I'm going to modify, which in this case is going to be a vertical laptop stand. There it is. And it just needs uh, a quick repair. Every now and then you need to repair the model. There's issues with it sometimes. So anyway, it's repaired. Simple as that. Super fast. So here's the stand I'm going to be working with. So basically what you want to do, once it's loaded into the 3D Builder, you want to go to Edit, and then hit Emboss. So from here, you figure out if you want to do a, a text or an image or what you want to do. So in my case, I'm going to do an image here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to do text. So I'll start by rotating it. wants to rotate it's being annoying I'm on you all right we'll just do it manually 90 degrees now that it's rotated the way I want I'm going to increase its size by hitting this button down here the scale we're gonna go like that and start typing in what I want so this is gonna say Juliana which is a um, friend of mine's daughter so I'm just gonna scale it accordingly to make sure it fits try to center it as perfectly as possible so because this is a 3d design you're gonna need to rotate a lot so left click to spin right click to go up and down and then the mouse wheel to uh, zoom in and out it's very easy to use this software so make sure you scale it when you scale it, you turn, you make sure it's not crossing. So if I had it like this, I look at it here, it's like, oh, okay, it looks okay-ish, not really. But then if I go here, you notice it's not great. So adjust your angle to make sure it's exactly the way you want it to look. So that looks about right. Now I'm going to try to center it as much as possible. And because this is a laptop stand, I'm going to actually put it inwards. I'm not going to have it stick out. So in order to adjust that, you click the arrow key here, or the green one, and then you go up or down. So I'm going to make sure it's deep in there like that. All right. And now that I'm looking at it like this, it doesn't look perfectly center. So I'm just going to adjust it. You can always count the squares here. So one, two, three, one, two, three. something like that again rotate around to see make sure it looks nice and I think I kind of like that so I'm gonna hit emboss so just like that it's now built into the 3d model and it's on the inside now there are many different ways to do this um, you can put it anywhere you like you can even do it underneath but in my case I'm just gonna do it on top here and I'm gonna do something else so this specific person really likes Lumu Melon. So I'm going to look for Mulu Melon uh, symbol. And I'm going to emboss it at the bottom here. I want to look for a nice uh, HD image. I've saved the image. I searched it on Google. Now I'm just going to add the image onto here. need to rotate it so the laptop stand is this way the Lulu melon melon Lulu whatever it's called I don't know what this brand is I don't buy it it's out of my price range so what we'll do here we'll go negative 180 nope I meant to go negative 90 come on fingers fing um, no 
90. There we go. Wait. Nope, I had it right the last time. Negative 90. So we'll just scale this thing. Make sure it's on the inside. So let's go five millimeters in. And let's make it half decent size. And try to center it as much as possible. There we go, that looks nice. Negative five might be too much. Let's go negative three. All right, emboss. And yeah, I'm not too happy with that. It didn't, em it's not very visible. So control Z to restart, click edit, emboss again. Look for the logo, move it around to where you want it. And I believe we did 90 degrees here. I accidentally forgot to click rotate. 90, there we go. Now we scale. So this time we're gonna go negative eight. Make sure it's kind of in there good. But I don't want to compromise the design. Negative eight looks too intense. Let's go negative five. See what that looks like. No, I don't like it. One more time. Edit, emboss, design, rotate 90 degrees. Scale, we're gonna go negative 10 this time. Boss. Make sure it didn't damage the print from the top. Nope, we're good. So there we go, I got a symbol at the bottom here. Doesn't look great, but if you zoom in, it does look like it's in there, but kind of really want it to stand out so one more try one more try all right Mulu Maman. let's try you at negative 20 rotate you back to 90 degrees are you centered not really it's kind of centered and boss okay make sure the top's not compromised Still not happy. One more time. Okay. That's I, the best I'm going to be able to get it. So we got the name here. We got the pattern. And that's basically it. So now we're going to export the file. So you can click save as. And then place it where you want it. Mac stand. So now that that's done, go ahead and open up Bamboo Studio. Add the new object in. And there it is. And there's the Moo Moo Melon, melon thing. And then. Uh, Let's auto arrange this, auto rotate. And I think we're going to throw this onto the P1S. 0.4 mil nozzle. Select my P1S in studio, resync the colors. And what do I have to work with red? So Moo Moo Melon is red, so let's go with red here. And then uh, because this is going to be holding an expensive laptop and tablet I'm gonna make it six walls 25% infill with triangles actually 50% I want to make sure this thing got weight to it I'm gonna hit slice here actually before I do that let's go standard strength transfer all right slice plate and this shouldn't need supports um, it'll be very, very messy if it doesn't support. I think it'll work. It's only 100 grams. It'll take four hours. 
Go, go ahead and send it to my P1S. It's only four and a half hours. Underscore 100 grams. Underscore max and send. And that's pretty much it. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Uh, I will be doing a YouTube short on the finished stand, so look out for that video coming soon. Thank you all for watching today. I hope this video was informational to everyone. Mike Bot out.